Previously on Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Ace Attorney, you can pay your you can pay your biscuits on it. <laughs> no, not my biscuits. I never bet them. You better bet the biscuits. Let me see your biscuits. No, you can't touch them. Give me your biscuits. Give me. And now back to yelling at people. Hello. This is Nico B. Back with some more Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. When we last left off, I met Miss Oldbags, who was awesome because <laughs> she reminded me of my old high school English teacher and also she was old and hilarious which just made it great except for her piranha face that shit kind of that shit kind of scared me it was just like I, I don't want to piss her off now because I don't want to see the piranha face uh, oh and I also met Hugh Jackman which is cool it's it's everything I dreamed it would be too dude you see that do you see those muscles on that guy oh man he was he was a softy too I, it was funny I didn't even realize when he was actually crying he was actually pulling up a little tissue to his face <laughs> Oh, poor Hugh Jackman. He's just a, he's just a softy at heart. Anyway, uh, am, I don't, am I done with the investigation, or am I actually... I'm actually yeah, I guess I am starting the trial. Look at that. All right, wait, hold on. Uh, uh, there we go. I didn't feel like I gathered, like, any evidence. I got, like, one picture or something. I feel like... I don't know. I don't have much, really much to go with. All right, October 18th, 10 a.m., District Court, Court number 4. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! God damn it! Ah! You know what? I'm fucking sick of all you people. God, especially you. Yeah, you. Are you in the red there? You fucking dick. <laughs> so that's me. I'm the prosecutor, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. Ah, oh, whatever. Anyway. Of now I'm sending for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. You're still a dick. <laughs> oh, god damn it. It's volume. Oh, okay. Oh, it's just like one notch, like way too fucking high. <laughs> okay. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edward, your opening statement, please. Where can I start off? Prosecution will show the court that at 2.30 p.m. all night, October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer at Studio One at, at Lobo Studios. Is this, I'm just wondering, is this like, are we like the only like lawyers in this fucking city or something? Like, <laughs> so why is it always, why is it always me versus Edward, really? It's like, it's like, god damn, is, that, is it gonna be like the whole, whole game? Is the rest of the game gonna be like that? Is it always, is it always gonna be Edgeworth? My arch nemesis, and his evil neck scarf. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will, with all, will all point to this fact. Hmm, actually. Hmm. <laughs> I'm Santa's beard, by which I mean my beard. Very well, I would like to move on to your testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. First, I would like to call a familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. <laughs> Our favorite detective, oh lord. How is he gonna fuck up this one? Ah, oh, see, where am I? <laughs> detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. I'll explain with the guide map here. To, to understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? This here is the employee area, as you can see by the name that's <laughs> printed in bold right across it. Everyone in the jur jury's like, whoa, whoa, no way, really? <laughs> oh, he's good, he's good. Yes, I know. That's why, I, <laughs> that's why I'm a detective. The actors did a run through of their action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios where Miss Old Bag and her old bags. This <laughs> scary layer that works in the studios was here at 1 p.m. on that day. Yes, I was! Past the security station, there's a the gate, see? With the uh, decapitated head of uh, Mr. Magoo. Pass out of the studios. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder where the body was found. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three people here. This <laughs> Ra Ryu from Street Fighter, i.e. Jack Hammer, and the defendant, Hugh Jackman, Will Powers, I mean. And a young woman by the name of Fukao, I uh, productionist. Damn it! <laughs> I'm getting my, I'm getting my, getting my names all mixed up here for some reason. <laughs> this isn't, <laughs> this isn't the fault. This isn't the paper I was looking for. Who put this in here? <laughs> I'm in the audience there. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I don't know who did that. <laughs> so what are you guys? Damn it! <laughs> all the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Whoa! <laughs> when after lunch, the victim Jack Hammer went to Studio One to take a dump. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got the up to the guard station. Oh, I'm at the guard station right now! Now, jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m. Oh, God, it's later that day! <laughs> shut up, you'll have your turn, lady! <laughs> oh, Miss Old Bags! You shut up! <laughs> I'll face you! 
production staff came to, studi came to the studio to perform, perform a rehearsal. Needs to say the rehearsal was cancelled. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. The samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. He got shish kebabbed. Shish kebab, technically speaking. <laughs> That's the case in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Hmm, should I listen to the whole thing again? Fuck no! <laughs> Why? <I don't> <laughs> I think you could probably remember that. So the murder weapon was a spear. How medieval! Oh, oh, oh lord. I remember when I used to be a knight of King Arthur's court. Yes, that's right, I'm that old. Holy shit. Oh, Galahad and all of the other characters. Have... Wait a minute. <laughs> I think I'm getting my life, mixed life, my life mixed up with a fictional story again. Oh dear. I think I forgot my... I think I took my meds today. Where the hell am I right now? Samurai Spear! Okay, what do I, I have a samurai spear, the layout of the place, and <laughs> I present my ID card. Oh, but some of you guys mentioned this right. I, I, <laughs> I should start apparently presenting my badge as evidence to like, or, or no, not evidence. I don't think in the court, but like when I'm like meeting people and talking with them, <laughs> present my badge to them for some funny cars. So I'll do that next time I'm investigating stuff. Your Honor, this case is quite simple if you ask one question, and that question is. Why the fuck's his hair so spiky, Phoenix? <laughs> How dare you just spike your hair? <laughs> and then the other question, when did the security lady at the guard station, guard station C? Understood. Let's call a security officer to stand. Oh lord. Hello there! My name is Old Bags. First name after my boobs, you see. Will the witness declare her name? <laughs> Hmm. What? Whoa! What? Yeah. What the? <laughs> okay. Now that just looks weird. <laughs> like really weird. Like, like someone took like a face, like the eyes and mouth of a someone's face, like of like a really cutesy anime character, and just plastered it onto like the old lace. It just looks weird. Oh my gosh! About to get the hot. My, aren't you the handsome fellow? Oh my lord! I used to bang guys like you back in the day. Actually, I still do bang guys like you. Actually, did I have actually did have sex with you right before I went to court? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Miss, please, please don't <laughs> talk about our intercourse. For it. <laughs> our previous intercourse. I prefer not. I prefer not to talk about that. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. <laughs> <laughs> Your name, please. Don't make me slam the desk with my big hand. Oh dear, you no need to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. I'll be your Grandma Giggity. Your name, please. Uh, oh Lord. Uh. Seems Edgeworth has a bit of trouble getting his, his witnesses to say their names. <laughs> Wendy Old Bag Dairy. <laughs> Just call me Grandma. I'll return to when I was young and the Old Bag would not the survivors of the children because my name, believe it or not, there was a boy that came to the corner to hide and call me Old Bag. I was just crying and crying. <laughs> Objections. Objection! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I object to the win. I object to the witnesses talking to this. Good lord! Shut this! Shut this old crazy bitch up! Objection sustained. Miss Old Bags, control your bags of oldness. Witness refrain from rambling on the stand. I was just getting the getting to the good part, Terry. Wrestling into the testimony. How the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, he I was. When I get to the scene of murder, someone won't have to pass by you. You know your stuff, dearie. Hmm. Oh, I'd have sex with you, too. Man, we already did have sex, remember? I'm pretty sure, Edgeworth, you were there, too. God damn it, stop talking about it, please. I'm I'm not proud of that moment. <laughs> but I do what I have to do to win a case. Not even that. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I'm still shaking. <laughs> Maybe give your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. <laughs> One hell of an old bag. All right, what do you got, old bag? On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Paul Hammer and the rest of had been doing a run through since there since the, the morning. I well, I had some errors around that morning. <laughs> you know, out buying machine guns and horrible other devious methods of murder. But that's not important. Anyway, it was one when I got to the guard station. I was at the bank from one from then until five. Now the murder happened at 2:30 p.m. Right? Interesting to me because the third man walked by right by me at 2 p.m. Airless Powers, the man right there, I was heading toward the studio. You 
Saul Fenderton. Mm, wow, that's pretty freaking solid evidence. My God, it's like my penis right now. From looking at you. Oh, you are you are the charmer, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, everyone is like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, sorry, enough of that. I, I'm, gra I'm gressing myself out. <laughs> Very well, let's begin a cross examination, please, for the love of God. Change the subject. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Anything to do with it. Okay. Let's do this. You're the one blah, blah, blah. Hold it! Uh, no! I wish I could use that. <laughs> Hold it! Where were you? What kind of errands were you doing? Oh, well, you know. No, I don't. Answer the question, damn it. Actually, I was watching Polar Hammer and Powers. Observing, you know. Observing? Were you supposed to be at the guard station? Whippersnapper, I told you I left the gate, didn't I? I did my job. Bam, piranha face! <laughs> oh, God, all right, all right, I got it. Stop doing that face. I'm sure you're supposed to see it that way. I know why. I always watch hammers run through. Always. Mmm, yes. Never missed one in all my years. Well, I want to see a steel samurai run through, too. You quit be being a spirit medium and take up guard. You quit, uh, you quit being a spirit medium and take up guard duty. Not a bad idea. Nothing make a better better than that than a fucking assistant. <laughs> Stop talking to me, free Davy. Show and help me. Oh, here's one when I got to the station. There's probably some man right there, and he was heading towards the studio. Hold it there. So you saw Mr. Powers. That's when I said, "Go wax your ears, Sonny." Nick, this is your chance. Yeah, time to pull out the secret weapon. I'll say it again, it was him! It was far as a man right there! He was heading towards the studio! Don't you lie to me! This is the, it's the picture, right? Du, du, du. Ugh, wrong! Mm. Let me get this straight, old bag. <laughs> I mean, Miss Old Bag. <laughs> You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? Well, you're talking about a man in this photo, aren't you? Just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. What the freaking doodle nuggets is this? Holy shit, look at the... The way he's up with his pants and that. How is he How is he even walking around? Does he have stilts on or something? Looks like he's carrying two cinder blocks by his feet. What is this exactly? Other than the Steve Simrai, defender of New Old Tokyo. Miss Old Bag! Is this Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course! Didn't your mama didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? I don't want to completely say that's powers, right? <laughs> um, yeah. No. I'm bleh. <laughs> well, I'm boned. That's fucking great. <laughs> Thanks, you sneak out little bitch. I had sex with you. <laughs> I had sex with you for no reason. Which is really horrible. I'm gonna remember that for the rest of my life. Um, well, I wonder. True Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> like your little freaked out. Oh! I I know that. I was a boy yesterday. Oh, proud face. I want this corpse accusing you of that, uh, Mr. Witness. <laughs> Miss Old Bitch. <laughs> He's having trouble calling her Old Bag, apparently. However, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Oh, that was the old man. Of course I have proof. I... No, what? Huh? <laughs> Even Andrew was... Is... <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> I guess we should probably be happy about that. Even Andrew was surprised. Perhaps you should like to ask the old... The witness. <laughs> Please make known all of the information you position ahead of time. For the love of sweet God Almighty. <laughs> How was I to know everyone will be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you! Anyway, I show that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't as any good as evidence, pal. <laughs> he didn't even give it a second look. <laughs> uh, you're not help. You're really not helping yourself here, lady. For the love of God, please. Well, Windbag has left even Edward speechless. She's good. Damn good. Let's hear about your proof, then. Good God, please. Get on with it. Man, the photo. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning during the run through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. 
Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now, look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his leg. Dragging his leg. See? Clear as day. That's how I knew it was powers. Happy? But he said he broke the, the, um... He broke the, 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 uh, the prop, right? And just gave me the spear. That's probably it. Hmm, so he sprained his ankle. Very well. Mr. Ryan may cross-examine the witness. He's gotta be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. Yeah, that's it. Alright, what, what was the... Uh, what was the prop that he broke? Blah, blah, blah. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. I don't want to press her on this. I never said anything I don't mean, mind you. Wait a minute. What do you mean by that? Um... Whipper stopper! Hey, I haven't said anything yet. <laughs> I'll have you know, I'm not pointing fingers at anyone in there. Ah, there, Rex. Everything I said is straight. It's all straight in there. That, uh, you the woods, why are you pointing fingers that way? We're about to make a whole lady cry. Mr. Wright, please, please don't make her go on a tangent anymore. Please, for all our sakes, try, try not to upset the witness. I think Andrew with has met his match. <laughs> please, for everyone's sake, please stop for the love of God. Broke one of his props in the. Oh, here we go. He broke a prop. Sure did, sure did. His own samurai spear. Samurai spear, the murder weapon. Luckily, I was there, but there were the duct tape, duct tape to fix it. This strikes me as a significant detail. I better write this down in the court record. Dude, dude. Really, spread his ankle pretty bad. How bad? <laughs> was Mr. Brown's ankle badly sprained? Not so bad that he couldn't couldn't walk around. I went to his dressing room to rest up after lunch. This the nap. Oh, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot, okay. See, he's dragging his leg. See, clear as day. Hold it on a second. Are you absolutely sure? Let's take a look at that picture again. Hmm. So he was walking strangely because he was injured. Hmm. Sounds like he was dragging his foot. Drag a cinder block. I'm not really sure. It looks like both of his legs are dragging. I don't know. It just looks kind of weird. See? And you didn't trust me, whippersnapper! I'm not a whippersnapper. You're a whippersnapper. What does that even mean? Does anyone even know what that means? It's like something that old people say to young people. Whippersnapper! <laughs> what does that mean? I'm snapping. I whip. Sna I snap whips or I whip snaps? I snap a whip? What is it? Why is that? Why is that bad? I don't know. It's hard to lose power, happy. Are they funny, clear contradictions? Well, she's pretty sure the power's in that photo. So I'll have to press her and see if I can shake her permission. Alright. Objection! Your Honor, that statement contradicts this evidence. No, oh, so I don't see anything under- Oh, shit, I fucked up. Huh, really? Objection overruled. Try to think before you make an accusation, Mr. Wright. Oh, shit! Whoops, that didn't go so well. Okay, well that's the first that's the first time I've messed it up, so now I know what happens. Okay, I guess I gotta keep pressing them. Truman Fall. Yes, and I think he's supposed to be the steel samurai. What a laugh! So power sprained his ankle. I helped make it better for him, of course. You helped make it better. I kissed a where it hurt. <laughs> let's just skip over that part, shall we? I gave it a good licking. That I did. <laughs> And I had sweet, sexy love with him afterwards. God, not again, please. Where was the assistant then? Oh, her? She was cleaning the uh, backdrops, I think. She didn't know about the powers, uncle. Hmm. Make continue your testimony. Apparently, it's pretty simple. I think we've heard enough. Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there's one thing that bothers me. Well, which is... Where is the Steel Samurai costume now? Um, hmm. <laughs> Actually, well... We couldn't find it. <laughs> we're looking. We're looking now. Hmm. Anyway, that's not. That's not important. The witness did see the steel samurai. Yes. It is clear the person in the steel samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. I suppose that's right. Are you sure you're? Are you sure, Your Honor? Uh. Object. Hold it right there. We keep talking about possibilities. What we have to agree is this photo shows this. We have to agree this photo shows the steel samurai. Nor in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. Prince has a point. I also wonder if someone else is not caught on, not caught on camera. Would, would have, so, I wonder if someone else not caught on camera would have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. Oh, 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 wag my little finger at you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
on. Oh no, I hate it when he wags his finger. It means some bad shit's about to happen. Allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the, will the witness continue her testimony, please? No need to ask twice! Oh, continue, okay. What the hell? What? What the hell was the point of it? What? Why was it I had... I, I don't understand. Why? I went through it like three times. And was it because I had to ask her about the injury or something like that? I, I guess. I, I didn't feel like I got anything important from that, but I did. The time before poor Harry's death was 2.32 p.m., Drew. The only person I saw go to the studio before them was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. So, if no one else went to the studio, no one have to be the steel samurai who did it. Mr. Rock, Mr. Wright may cross-examine the witness. Hold it! It wasn't 2.30. How do you know that? Oh, uh, did not, did not just explain. I gave donuts to the young detective. And then, after some rubbish about being a sicker pal, about it being a sicker pal, he told me everything. See, you take a gumshoe, serious fellow officer funds for donuts. <laughs> Only person I saw in the studio was Mr. Will Powers. Are you absolutely sure? Oh, quite, quite, Sonny. Nobody's suspicious looking past by at all. Nobody's suspicious looking, right. No one else but the- Hold it! <laughs> what about before you got to the guard station? You mean before 1 p.m.? Well, everyone was in the employee area before then. And I locked at the main gate so no one could get in. Not, not to mention, if they had, I would have seen them. Oh, wait a minute. Are you sure? <laughs> the witnesses answered the question. Anyone going to the studio had to pass by the witness. That's right, Sonny. You let him have it, edgy boy. Mm, yeah. Mm, you sexy boy. Uh, edgy boy. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> may, may I ask the witness please refrain from com calling me that? Direction overruled, edgy boy. <laughs> Fuck you, Judge. <laughs> oh, my back sure has, back sure has balls, or well, you know what I mean. <laughs> look at the look at her face. Uh, she have a little mole on her face? Is that like a little mole in the shot? Oh, and Bex have a way of skipping over important details, after all. But for that matter, I'm totally forgetting them. How convenient. So, something for you to look forward to, perhaps. Ah. Okay, so, what did I get from that? Oh, Studio 2, maybe? Maybe present this as evidence? Damn it! Oh, we're not clear evidence just for an hour later. They aren't, are they? <laughs> I don't. Mr. Wright, please let the facts out before making accusation. Fuck me! I think that wasn't many points with the judge. I'm so confused. What, what am I supposed to. I pressed her on everything she said. Objection. Oh, the photo again? Hold on! Look at this photograph one more time. I'm a little confused. So I was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes, sir, Sonny. So whenever so anyone passes by here, I'm not takes a picture. And here I thought you didn't know your head from the hole in the ground. Right. Anyway, it's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Oh, you know if you want, want to work at the studio, we might have an opening. The very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed the words, October 15th, 2 p.m., photo number 2. Even I know that means it was taken at 2 p.m. on October 15th, really, Sonny. Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is the bit at the end where it says, photo 2. Oh. Oh, 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 I forgot. I fucking, I forgot. <laughs> it was photo. Is that what it, did it actually say that in the evidence? I just, I. Yeah, photo number, I, I forgot. Oh, number two. Computer only held data for one photo that day. Do you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be photo number one if it is only, was the only photo? Oh, yes, it was only one photo. Hold up, hold up, shut up. Out of here. Why are you trying to call what you mean by this, Mr. Wright? Actually, what I, that's what I wanted to ask that witness. The evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. That there's only data for the, one of the photos. Who could have erased the data for the other photo? 
Tell me, damn it! Only someone with access. The security lady herself. Huh? <laughs> you watch your mouth, Lever Stabber! And the person I saw out there was Will Powers! The camera on the gate is fired twice. That means two people went by. Um, well, yes, that's what it would seem to mean. Uh, uh, shut up! <laughs> Otherwise, explain us to the court. <laughs> um, hum, uh, I don't understand these newfangled computer thingies. Um, Edgy Boy, help me! <laughs> <coughs> huh? Believe me, I want to, but I don't know what uh, I don't know what this means either. <laughs> Damn it all! <laughs> huh, so help you are, you're a winner snapper too. <laughs> I hate all of you. Winner snappers, all of you. What? Winner winner snapper. Swing the mirror, so bad. <laughs> oh, that's right. I I just remember something. <laughs> Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than Steel Samurai. Er, well, yes, I suppose you could put it that way. Whoopsie doodle! My back, my bee! <laughs> oh, I say, god damn, you're senile. Look at you. Got wrinkles on your wrinkles. Like a freaking prune. I bet on Halloween you paint yourself purple and pretend to be a prune. <laughs> your best money, please. God, I let people just do this sh whatever the fuck they want here, don't I? Like, sir, why we, we do this like 18 times before we're like, first, like, I don't think I believe anything you're saying. Every day after I finish my car duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. <laughs> Miss Old, Miss Old Bag, this is the first I've heard of this, for the love of sweet baby Jesus. Well, of course, Sonny, I've only just remembered it. Ah. Right, anyway, Mr. Wright, please begin the cross examination. Well, I see this was a <laughs> This is a trip for the unexpected, but I kind of expected. But I kind of expected this. <laughs> Maya looks like she's like falling asleep over there. It's like, hi, Ford. Can we go? <laughs> Can I go get an autograph of the Steel Samurai? No! <laughs> Every day I finish my car duties, I have one other important job to do. Okay, go through the shears, check them. If there are any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Hold it! Wait a minute, what are you saying? How exactly do you determine what isn't suspicious looking? Oh, you can tell but by looking at their faces, for the most part. For the most part? This is a murder trial in this old bag. Damn you, old bag. Well, I didn't touch that suspicious looking fool's photo, did I? I think she's missing the point. Time to think of it now, I remember throwing away one photo that day. Ugh, slam the desk. Well, who in the heck was in that photo you race? Huh, fanboy. Fanboy? Still serve my fanboys. Real freaks, if you ask me. <laughs> really, lady? You didn't think maybe one of the crazy, real freaky fanboys might have gone in and murdered him? Thank you for wishing about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. Probably for me, because I'm tweeting all this shit. I'm even tweeting what I'm talking about right now. <laughs> So bag, I'm afraid you can't you can't do that. No, you can't take my phone away from me. Get away from me! You're always hanging out one one was there that day. Wait a second, didn't you just say no one else could get in? I like the main gate so no one can get in. Those were your words. Well, you must know there's a drain a drain that goes into the employer. Did I forget to mention that? Oh my god. Great has been loose for a while. At least outside and well, that's where they come in! They come in through the drain? I told you they were freaks! So literally sewer rats! They're gonna come over here and suck the life out of you! Oh, and. And? They're kids! Children! Whippersnappers! Ah, uh, but I'm a whippersnapper too! Kids! So, on the photo that day, you were. you were raced. I was a boy, probably second or third grade. Whaaaaaa! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, shut up! Oh, order! Oh my god! Shut, shut the shit up, everybody. I will fucking gabble all of you. Look, I'm blowing the hammer here, alright? I get to decide when we can freak the fuck out. Alright, I'm not doing that yet. Not yet. Okay, now I'm freaking out. Ah. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on the way to the studio that day. One was a still samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy. He looked to be about second or third grade. Oh yes, well, we see his type there every day. Can't stop him, can't catch him. Boy in second or third grade. Hmm. 
I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young boy to wield the samurai spear. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Correct! As I said, I didn't pay much mind. That's why I raised the data. Um, Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there, it makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. I'd like to take a five minute recess. Well, the defense and the prosecution is serious new information. No forgetting final information this time. God damn it. Seriously. How many times? Like, seriously. We have, like, a week to prepare for this shit. None of you people get this right? God, I hate all of you. Fucking hate all of you. October 18th, 11.08 a.m. Today's record, 7 lobby number 3. Mr. W, Mr. WP. Uh, yeah, yes. Tell me straight, were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio? I, I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping honest. Come on, I'm Hugh Jackman. I'm Wolverine, man. If I wanted to murder him, if I wanted to murder him, I would have used my Wolverine gloves. So who was the steel samurai in that security photo? How should I know? The steel samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. <laughs> what? You should take better care of that stuff! I couldn't imagine anyone would really want to steal a steel, steal a steel, steal, steal a steel, steal a steel samurai costume. Well, it's kind of hard to say. Are you kidding? So, where does this leave me? Are you kidding me? The crazy fan people would love to steal that. Dude, like, can you imagine getting like a real Power Ranger outfit or something? Dude, I would have fucking killed for that. I would have killed for that <laughs> as a kid. I've been like, <laughs> I would have broken in the room and been like, <laughs> I'm gonna murder some bitches just to steal that freaking uniform. Not saying I did. <laughs> what? Somebody talk? Who smoke? Who's a snitch? Ah! It doesn't look good. Sniff. Mwah. <laughs> You're the only, only lucky suspect right now. Nick! What are we gonna do? First, first we play for more time. Start, tar start targeting someone else that could conceivably have done this. Right! I'll take some, some, some water shoes down that we get, a, get another day. Right, but we... If we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You don't sound very optimistic. I'm not uh, optimistic at all, actually. <laughs> hey, Nick, it's time. Okay, let's go. Uh, what, did, what does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. Uh, wah, don't make me cry again. Rah. <laughs> Shut up, God. Court is now reconvened. I had my chicken sandwich. I'm feeling a lot better now. Feeling a lot perkier. Slightly less horny. Mr. Edward, we present a prosecution thoughts in this matter. Prosecution's thoughts are simple. Are, are th simple. Nothing has changed. The other, the other person who went through the studios is a boy of roughly ten years of age. But what we do have may not be hard evidence. There's still one. There's still no one else that could have committed this crime. I call for a victim of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. Very well. I'll to write your thoughts. The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed this crime. Order! Interesting. Let's hear what you have in mind. However, be aware this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right, Grace. If the stakes weren't high enough, God, I gotta save. <laughs> that makes me nervous. Let's not fuck, let's not fuck this up. It kinda sucks that it makes you suspend the game and you have to come back again. It's not leaving me as fast, but it's just kind of like, like, why? Can I not? All right. So who was this person other than Mr. Powers that could have committed murder? Oh God. Okay, the assistant, assistant girl, the, the grade school boy, the security lady. I, I, I don't, I doubt it's the kid, because I mean, I, I don't think he wield a giant spear like that. The security lady, uh, I don't think so. I think maybe the assistant girl. It was the assistant. Steel Samurai costume was in his dressing room. She stole it, and in doing so, she became the Steel Samurai. So you're saying Steel Samurai in the picture is really the assistant? That's correct, Your Honor. Ah, uh, did I fuck it up? If you're serious, you got guts, Mr. Wright. Remember the photo? Wasn't the Steel Samurai a little lame? He was dragging his foot. Oh, uh-oh, bad feeling time. <laughs> Remember the testimony concerning Mr. Power's injury. Powers and poor hammer were at the run through. Oh, and me. What about the assistant? Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. 
She didn't know about Power's ankle. He just knew nothing of Mr. Power's injury. She could look. She could look to steal Samurai. She could look to steal Samurai look with the costume. She couldn't walk to steal Samurai walk. She wouldn't. Have, she would have limped. No! The guy takes the legs out from under the under the case. That's right. I'm afraid I have to penalize you as I walk. Nobody knows. Trouble I've seen. <laughs> Move on, Mr. Wright. Grr, this fight isn't over. Oh, god dang it, really? Son of a freaking noodle. Yes, I restarted. So what? Sorry, I just can't. Okay, fine. So it's gotta be, I guess it is the security lady. I... Yeah, alright. I mean, she knew about it, and I, I don't know. I mean, I... she knew about the limp, right? And like, could she put on the costume? I guess. I, don't know, I thought maybe she was old. I don't know if she could carry the thing around, but. It was Security Lady Wendy Old Bag. Who? <laughs> Steel Samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. Okay, so okay, that's it. I, I really thought like I don't know. I just have a feeling it's not her, but I, I don't know. I, yeah, I feel like it might actually be the assistant, just because, just because we we barely like covered her at all. Like I feel like she might end up being more important than she she appears to be. That means whoever was in the suit knew about the morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. Security lady, old bag. What? Whipper stopper? Order, order the guard and go. Just true old bag. Old bag? That's Miss Old Bag to you. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Old Bag was standing guard alone at the gate, big gate. She was by herself. In other words, she was she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the steel, steel samurai costume. Let's step into studio one, the scene of the murder. Why would she go to the front wearing the steel samurai costume? Simply, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. She was in this costume. She would point she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. Ah, oh, see. Excellent doctor of reasoning, Mr. Wright. It only took you it only took you two tries to get it. <laughs> Yeah, right there. Sherlock Holmes is sick of baby. Mm. Mm. That's odd. Isn't this the point where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't usually jump with an objection to some new damning evidence. Damn it. What the Edgeworth? Damn you, Edgeworth. What are you hiding up your sleeve? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? No. No, he doesn't look. He doesn't look scared or anything. Stop thinking. Give up. Give up, Edgeworth. The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. What? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so you all think I did it? Is that it? Angie boy, don't just sit there and do something! What's my dude? I mean, that's my chance to take this, take this the whole way. C give Granny a break. Fuck that. Press further. The very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Obag's actions on that day. But, but, but why would I do something so horrible to poor Miss Poor Hammer? Blah, blah, blah. I forget that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive, too. Hmm, indeed. That is. Now we'll, now we'll make one of the suspects. Do our feelings, I hope. Nah, hard feelings, Isaac. Wait just a minute! What about the other person who went to the studio? Oh boy! The one whose photo I erased! He's only in grade school or not, as you said. Second or third grade, wasn't he? That, that doesn't matter! When I was that age, I could pin my old band in ten seconds tops! <laughs> hmm, I thought Mr. Wright. The boy is not the killer. What? How can I be so sure? Or is it to be nice to the kid and kid mean to your elders? Whipper Sabber! <laughs> I have proof. Huh? <laughs> proof? Indeed. Well, let's see his proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could not have committed this murder. Uh. Oh, the card, right? It was in. Yeah. Take that! The scene of the murder, as we all know, is Studio One. However, you need a car key to enter Studio One. How could a boy with no formal relation to students have a key ca card key? I see. Well, will the witness care to comment on this? I'm proud of face. The windbag, speechless. This has got to be a first. <laughs> Very well. All right. Well, I'm sending you to life in prison, bitch. <laughs> see you later, you old fart. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Shared with police, find out more about your witness, Miss Wi Wendy. Oh, what was her name? 
Something old bag, Your Honor. <laughs> the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. <laughs> That's all. Court's adjourned. Get the fuck out of here. Ah! I got all of you. Demons. Ah. Wait a second! Wait, what the hell? Ah! I'm not just gonna sit here while you run a bucket up the wrong tree! Me! I'm talking. I'm talking! Ugh! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> ah! Oh, great stuff. Oh, great stuff. The press is. The wood bag wants to talk. It's all back. What is this all about? Calm your freaking old bags down. Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. Not to talk about? By whom? <laughs> huh. I mean, it wasn't Edgeworth who told us to talk. Well, testify. God, God, Jesus. How many times am I gonna let people do this? My lips are sealed. Well, the students want me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. I said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me just to pretend they had, had, hadn't been in the studio that day. Now well, if you're going to go accusing me, I'm not going to let them get away, get away scot-free. It's all bad. This is crucial information. Why did you give us from the court until now? Seriously, what the hell? What the hell, old bag? <laughs> Ain't you been listening? <laughs> told me to shut my trap, but I always do what I'm told. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness, witness the power of the old bag. <laughs> Behold, witness the power of the old bag. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, for the love of God. Cross-examine the shit out of this crazy old bitch. Oh, sir, I want to keep quiet about something. There are some other people that that day. Where? Ugh. Who are these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director? We should have known something was, something was fishy. How could they have done a run-through of their action see, scene without a director? Of course. <laughs> yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. <laughs> <laughs> Where were these people? What were they doing? The director was in the employer all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime, and they had a meeting after that. Uh, where? Oh, and Studio 2, the trailer. Studio 2? It was a Studio 2. Well, if you look at the guide map, there it is. You go through, through the gate all the way to the left. The map where the, the monkey's head was, was falling over. <laughs> is that really what that is? Is this a monkey? That's a funny looking monkey. Look at it. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue your cross examination? I think we've already asked all my questions, but let's keep cross examining. Sir, there's nothing to do, do with us, eh? Hold it! Wait a minute. Miss Olbeck, this is a trial for murder. I know that. I know that, silly. Still, they were pretty convincing about having nothing to do with it. And they're gonna be a little bonus on the side. I'm sounding more and more like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> so you got a bonus and you still talked. I think I've asked all the questions I have to ask. Okay, I guess that's it. Your Honor, we have learned there were others to the Global Studios on the day in question. Director and the producer, and uh, some big wins were all present. Slam my desk! Yet as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hope that is impossible to clear a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Mm. Court acknowledges the defense's point. Prosecutors will gather for more information about the witness, Miss Oldback. <laughs> and more information about these other people we have, we have just been told of. <laughs> Edward, the son of a bitch. <laughs> Damn you, Phoenix Ryan. Once again, you have foiled my plans for world domination. Oh, wait, no, that's not quite right. I understand, Your Honor. Son of a fucking doodle nugget. Never trust an old bag, that's what I always say. Nah, nor have sex with her. This ends of the day is proceeding to trial Mr. Will Power. That's all. Get the shit out of my court. I'm gonna go get my turkey sandwich. October 18th, 104 p.m. District Court. Defendant Bobby, number three. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Hugh Jackman. Oh, it's really nothing. Yeah. Oh, or should I? Or should I? <laughs> Sniff. <laughs> what? It's like, is that making fun of her? In <laughs> fun of him. What? <laughs> is that, is that, is that? We're going down to the studios to do some more investigation. We're going to find out more about this director and the producer. We'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. So now's my chance to get material for the cross-examination. So, Nick, 
And we figured out just who, who it was in that Steel Samurai costume. Could really have been a bit old, went back. What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, neither did I. That's why I didn't pick her the first time. Yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying some time back there. So we're gonna be back after a bit, take the pressure off Mr. Powers. Poor old windbag. I feel kind of sorry for her. Uh, I don't. <laughs> well, she wasn't winning any points out there with or without my, my accusation. Okay, so let's get to the down to the studios. Right, we'll be back to visit you soon. Thanks. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I love you both so much. Come here. Embrace me. <laughs> Embrace my hairy chest. Wow. <laughs> to be continued again at a perfect time in the video. <laughs> this game is so perfect at timing it, isn't it? Alright, guys. Well, we're gonna here for now. It seems the case of Old Bag and Steel Samurais and Hugh Jackman is, it, is uh, thickening. Plot thickening. <laughs> it's about to get crazy, I guess. All right, so I wonder if it, I, I don't know. I'm thinking it might be like the assistant or something, but or maybe it's one of these other people that I haven't I haven't met yet. So anyway, like for if you enjoyed this video, subscribe now. Hop boy the SLP. The days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And until next time, guys, stay classy.